What is up guys and welcome back. Right, we're going to have some breaker battles here. We're going to find out if these guys are more powerful than their predecessors in the previous modes. But this is just a quick tip before we get started. On the mission towards the first breaker, when you go to the plane crash, you'll probably know where that is by now. On your way there, you get these guys that drop these MG45s. Now you can grab this. You won't have much ammo at the start, but there's lots of ammo to pick up there. So if you want to use this kind of method, grab that weapon and then we can head down to the plane crash here. Now, I was... I was curious to see if I should just use all the explosives and lead him around this area or if I should just start shooting him straight away. But I did, I did a bit of both, but let's get into it after this. Okay, now he's fed. What I always do with the bigger bosses is in the hint screen on the, in the loading screens it tells you that if you put them on fire set them on fire they are more susceptible to all other damage although with him gunfire is almost ineffective as you'll see here it does take off a bit and that's all the ammo i had now there is ammo scattered everywhere but i was going to use the explosives here which absolutely owns him now I do mess up once, I get hit because I forgot there was a path behind me, as you'll see in a second. This was uh, slightly too close. <laughs> so yeah, I felt that one. But we're going to continue, and there's another explosive box right here. Now there is actually a path behind me. So after I shot him, I kind of ran to the left into the wall, unbeknownst that there was actually one behind me. I could have just continued the trail around the edges there, but I thought, fuck it, let's get him a smack. But he is not affected by the smack, unlike the swarmers and so on. So we're not going to hit him with that again. We're going to go to the next block, blocks at least, which is right here. Toodles. Very, very tough, but as you will see in a couple of minutes, they are not as tough as I expected them to be. I do not know, I mean, this guy's definitely a bit of a boss. And I would love to have seen if he went down with one shot crossbow, the upgraded crossbow damage, um, as we'll get into in a second. But heading back around this way, I think I saw a, a bear trap, which is very useful in this because he'll always just run straight towards you. As you will see right now. Bit of a classic finish. Didn't want to run out of stamina. That is the killer. So he's kind of where are you? Come on, die already, you son of a bitch. Then I thought, okay, let's just use the trap, because he is definitely gonna get stuck in it. And it is the death of him. I love how he throws it down. Open hand like beating a horse. There we go. And he is down. Tough. tough indeed. But are the other guys tough? So what I wanted to do was try and get a full headshot, or first time headshot, and see if he goes down. Uh, there it took two, but I'm not sure if the first one was a headshot. I thought I'd obviously just do this a good couple of times. But uh, with better shots, they'll go down in two. And I wanted to see if I can get them to go down in one. That was pretty much a headshot, as it tells you. And you get a lot more experience for the headshot. So these guys are easier to get headshots than pretty much the Freakers, because they, they run sideways and they dodge you. Normally I wouldn't have the reticule right over the enemy. I'd have it just to the left, and as he runs into the line of fire, shoot. Because if you aim straight at them, then they start doing the, the dodges. So that one was just a miss, I think. And then this one was spot on but then the final one he is point blank in front of me almost took me out there but as you can see if you get a solid shot in the head and i'm not sure if distance is going to matter on this but they still go down in one so it looks like they're uh, equally as strong or should we say weak as their previous playthroughs but this is the way it is and i hope it gets a little bit more difficult or they get tougher a little bit later but guys i want to say thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one